if uh, Siege is in his prime. So I personally think Siege right now is in his prime. Uh, people want to be like, oh, but the OG days were better. Uh, la 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 la. But like on paper right now, Steam just hit 200,000 players, which is insane. Oh, but then people would be like, oh, but it was a bug on Steam. Okay, if you take away 50,000, there's still 150,000 players on PC. And that's not even including console. So a lot of new players are coming back to the game. And if you look at it, it's mostly the influences are Jinxy, of course. Him bringing all of the streamers to play this game, getting the game getting exposed, which is really, really good. Uh, on top of that, we also have the new changes coming to the new season as well, like ACOG's bringing Bop back. A lot of players actually did not like the 1.5. Chat, y'all think it was a W or a L for the 1.5 to get removed? Now, y'all already know me. I always will adapt to just whatever whatever the game does. Ten seconds to go. But for like a player standpoint, not every change has Five to be competitive, to but in a, in a highly competitive game like this, found a bomb. it's good to have a mix of pros and casual opinions. But this is really good, man. Like, Siege was known for it being a hard game to get into because of the learning curve, all that. So this is really good for the game. And I mean, it, when you ever thought about it, like all these, all the streamers I've come to Siege I, is really because of Jason, which is pretty nuts. You got, you got Tim the Tap Man, Dr. Disrespect came back. Usually the game is a very slower paced game. So it's kind of hard for... Kind of hard for players to get into it, you know? They're also making the game a lot more beginner friendly. With all the tutorials they've been moving us to. One tough fight. So Seed is actually like in a very upward direction right now, which is really good. Big window. Nice. But yeah, what do you guys think though? Y'all think that Seed is in his prime right now? Considering all of the... Everything is going really well right now. The only thing I think would need to be fixed for it to really... Kill two guys for it to really right thrive is the anti-cheat. Anti-cheat needs to be fixed in high ranks and even just in general in the game. Uh, having also bad servers at the beginning of a, a new season is really bad too. But we had no bad season or no bad uh, connection issues, which is really good. But again, not, uh, not like most of the... If we go to R6 Steam Player Chart... It probably went down from a few a few days ago, but still, 163,000, 200 all-time peak. This is way, this is like triple, double of what it used to be like always. Like you see, like we barely even broke double digits. The last time we hit close to 200,000 players was March of 2021, about right here. But this is really good. Uh, the gain is, cra is crazy. So, and again, it is also because the game has been is four dollars now. But who knows, Chad? Do you guys think that Rainbow Six should become uh, free to play? Who knows? Maybe this game will. Uh, that this game will definitely increase the player bar because uh, people will be trying the game more. But I think the game should be free to play. Um, obviously, the in-game sales are pretty huge for Ubisoft. Uh, they would have to rely more on obviously in-game cosmetics. All the yada yada. Green Toad, thank you for the thank you for the five gifted, my man. Thank you, man. Give me some W's in the chat. Thanks for the five gifted. It should always be four dollars. I actually think it's okay. I don't think we need like on console. I guess it makes sense for it to be like sixty bucks. 
it's a new game you know it's, 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 it's a disc right but i think especially with how accessible siege is it also does help out in general dude we look at fortnite look at league of legends all these other games are all free This guy's bottom main. This caviar is spooking me out a bit. Three. But, you know, the possibilities of, of Siege being... Possibilities of Siege being free to play is it's it's wild. These players will be able to play the game more together after school, especially if you a lot of kids that don't have a lot of money to afford too. This makes the game a lot more accessible. But for the future of Siege, guys, you know, think about it. Imagine we got we got like rappers playing the game soon. Oh my God, I got was probably here the entire time I think. Jinxie bringing on rappers could be crazy, you know? But for it to reach this peak, it's literally a one in a million chance. Think about it. Think about where Siege was a while ago. You know, look, look at the player charts down here. It's very kind of a low key game. You kind of have to be interested to play it. And another thing is that it scares a lot of players away because how just harsh the game is. The game has a very tough learning curve. Uh, I remember I saw a TikTok actually about it. Uh, Shroud explaining to get into Siege that it's probably one of the most like frustrating games to play. Because you just die and die and die and die to like a trap, different operator, a uh, gun he never knew existed, an angle, and... The more, the more you just like accept that, then you're like, oh wait, this game's actually kind of fun. And you start using all those like different possibilities of playing the game. Slay, thanks for the prime. Drone has located a bomb. It's when we get in Marshmallow in the event in Siege. Yo, guys, come on, bro. Uh, my God. 10 seconds to go. Yeah, I don't, think, I don't think that's gonna happen. Who oh, knows? Maybe a marshmallow headgear. Gets kind of boring after a while. Well, that's the thing. If you look at other FPSs, I, in my opinion, I think maybe some bias I play Siege more often. But I've come from Call of Duty. I played Overwatch, Valorant. I played a lot of different FPSs, and the reason why I sucked with streaming Siege is because no other game was just more enjoyable to play like hours on end than siege now it's obviously a little bit different compared to like a, a player that is plays after school or work because i'm playing it for a living and i'm playing it like almost every day so it's kind of a different viewpoint on it but like i said there's siege just so dynamic and there's so many different things you can learn about the game which is really nice most yeah, I, I genuinely think she's just the best FPS in the world. I got your I got your back. He's prone. I didn't hear him prone. When are we getting a Travis Scott concert in Siege? You know, guys, I don't think we're gonna get any concerts in Siege. That's also another thing is that Siege is a very like hard game to brand, hard game to partner with is how it's just how like you like, I don't know how to explain it. Unique the game is it's it's kind of a violent shooter compared to, like Fortnite. So Siege is definitely limited uh limited itself to that. I mean you would think the game's 18 up, but you got 12 nine-year-olds playing this game, so. Maybe we had nine-year-olds, but we all know, like, the... I was 12 years old when I first started playing Siege. Like, 18 and up doesn't mean anything anymore.
We need an Athena maid cosplay. Yeah, you're never getting that ever. It's too linear to collab and stuff. Linear? Uh, to an extent. I, I actually like that though. Um, another thing about Siege is that it is a very linear game, like you said. Uh, it's a very like only bomb site mode. There's not a lot of custom game mode. Uh, you know, kind of like how Fortnite has playground mode. I think Fortnite Creative really moved it to the next step. But Siege, you're stuck to the 5v5 tactical shooter. But since you're only stuck to one mode, obviously we have hostage of Scaria, but who's playing that long term? The bomb mode, right? But as you can see what everyone's doing, you can do something different every single round. And I think what keeps the game fr fresh and players coming back is because like they wanna they wanna, you know, get good at this game. You only see C's clapping with other FPS games. Uh, maybe. Yeah, again, it's, uh, it's not the most brand-friendly game, but it's not really supposed to be in the genre. Compared to got like Fortnite or something. the angle. What's going on here? How do you not get scared in a 1v5? Zombie, can you come throw a thing right here on one on two ping? Where? I'm trying to hop in. A bomb has been located by our four. Oh, I think they patched. Or I didn't have it low enough. Yeah, Siege is an amazing search and, search and destroy. The way I got into Siege was actually Black Ops 3 search and destroy. That's what made me want to play the game even more. Whether you like it or not. Come on, Zero. Don't go all day. I think Siege being in its current state right now is probably one of the best things that could have happened in the game in a very long time. Because it's, it, it's Siege is never going to fully die. People will say, oh, Siege is dead. Siege is dying. It's all from players who just bunny hop games anyway. So you can never dedicate to one because they just suck at the game. But Siege is so unique that there's always going to be a diehard fan base with how unique the FPS is. Like the, this, the, the gameplay you get in Siege, you can't get anywhere else. You want to run and gun, you can go play like a faster place, faster pace game. Just respawn, shoot, respawn, shoot, respawn. But here, there's like a, it's like, it's like the saying of a thousand ways to skin a cat type shit. There's a thousand different, just infinite ways actually to win this game. Maybe not infinite, but there's there's plenty. Because if we think about it, like, okay, what what does a prime siege look like? Is the player base happy? Yes, the player base is happy. Obviously, you can't you can't uh, impress everyone, but gameplay wise, you know, ACOGs are back. 
accordingly. Uh, we're not the biggest fan of the ADS speed, but we all we're siege players. We get used to it. We're That's another thing too. Like metas are always changing in this game. Double clicking Ten like seconds to insertion. Love your vids. First time watching the stream. Hey, welcome, bro. Five seconds left. Yeah, uh, the new Prime Siege is when four has located a bomb. you know almost every op is useful. Anti cheats working. But well, we all know that's just classic siege, man. I think all us siege players have like adapted that anti cheats really never gonna be solved. It's always going to be an ev a never-ending battle, but we get a little dopamine boost. Yeah, make sure your randoms don't ever go castle ever again. Don't castle this. What is he barricading, bro? Yeah, the next thing, chat, what's the next thing that Seed needs to work on right now? We have uh, working on Zim, working on cheaters, uh, server stability might be another big one. A lot of different things. We can better skins, that's also another thing. I think they could fix up the battle pass a bit. They could fix up the battle pass. Balance maps. Uh, I don't know about ma balancing maps. I think they should definitely go the direction of not reworking maps anymore. Okay, bro. I kind of always been a firm believer of making a new map making the resources of that instead of instead of uh working one night maps eh, maybe not a make or break deal for me honestly Maybe Siege will have a future of emotes, you know, unlimited gadget mode. It's going to be a lot of different things. Yeah, we discussed it, but yeah, Jinxie is maybe about, he's actually about 90, 97% of the reason why Siege is in his prime, 3% because of the new season. Like I said, guys, this is literally one in a million chance that Siege makes it out of the trenches. A siege streamer. When a siege streamer barely averages what two thousand viewers, the top streamer barely averages two thousand viewers. Bro, you go to you go to you go to any other game, Valorant, Fortnite. Bro, a small streamer over there is two thousand viewers too. So, and yeah, like, like all the big names uh, is is very important. Uh, it's Timmy came back to siege because of Jinxie uh, for a little bit. Tim the Tap Man, Doctor Disrespect, Nick Merks. Um, Shroud, Shroud's coming back. He's having his phase. Like a big streamer doesn't even need to main siege, but when they play it for a little bit, give their initial thoughts, show that it's a unique, fresh FPS. That is good exposure. That's really good for the game. And that also allows uh, Rainbow Six to, obviously, like when they when they pay streamers to do like sponsor streams. Of course, this makes it a little bit easier and a little more leeway because you're paying large streamers who already have interest in this game rather than if I were to pay uh who doesn't like siege you know if I were to pay like a random just chatting streamer to play siege you know oh game's kind of cool check it out if you want but when you have an established audience like shroud is really really good xqc coming to the game I mean he's always he's always been on and off with the game I know summit actually wants to play the game but he doesn't want to relearn all the maps 
But yeah, having that unique audience like Summit, Shroud, Tim the Tapman from Call of Duty, those are all really good compatible uh, players for Siege. Takino, thanks for the four months. Declan, thanks for the sub. Slay, thanks for the sub. Jack Frags, I'm not too sure who sure that is, but I'm, I assume he's a big, big player. But besides all the exposure, if you look at the, the game right now, Ash R4C is back. 1.5 is removed. Definitely moving back into the OG Siege a little bit. Um, ADS changes are actually, now that I think about it, it's not that bad, to be honest. Um, it encourages more slower tactile gameplay for the longer term. That's what Siege typically is. Obviously, it's really fun going around with fast ADS back in the day, but Siege baseline is more of an ADS meta or helps with the I wouldn't say it, it just it punishes fast gameplay but obviously as a player seed players always adapt we're like Maharaga I'd adapt